hi guys it's michelle today i am preparing my dining area for my christmas eve breakfast so i thought i would take you along the way with me if you were maybe looking for some ideas or inspiration so let's go ahead and jump on in so i'm starting off with these champagne colored um, beaded chargers and i did get these from burlington for like 9.99 a few years ago I believe it's about two years ago so I'm gonna put those down first and these I've shown these before these silver chargers here that I got from walmart.com um, I'm gonna use that on top and I am going with silver champagne and red as my color theme today so these beautiful red plates here, uh, they are from Home Goods. They were super affordable, but they could be DIY. Like if you got the clear plates from the Dollar Tree and some red glitter and put the red glitter on the back and seal it, it would be the same thing. And I'm going in with these. Uh, these are actually kitchen towels, but I love them so much because they are they have these beautiful champagne colored snowflakes and two of them have the snowflakes and two of them have the reindeer so I when I saw that I just said that that's it and I do have the smaller salad plate that I'm going to place on top yeah that's definitely a really good DIY idea right there And I'm going in then with this beautiful ornament, which kind of pulls all the colors together. I think this will be really nice when my guests come in, which I'm only having like two people. <laughs> so uh, I think they're going to really love it. And I'm just going in with a couple more ornaments. All these ornaments are from Burlington and I got them like a few weeks ago. So I know they're still available. I have these two candle holders that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put those on the table as well. And then I'm going to go in with a wine glass and a champagne glass because I do plan to make mimosas and then I'll put water in the regular wine glass just to make it nicer. So guys, if, if you want to learn more about how to decorate your home on a budget, how to DIY and make over furniture, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out. So I'm putting this beautiful mosaic vase in the center with these huge poinsettias. I, got, I found these at Hobby Lobby. Look how huge they are compared to my hand. They definitely make a statement in the room. And um, they're perfect as a centerpiece. I love them. So guys, I wanted to tell you that I have launched my e-designs website and what I do is if you provide me pictures of your room, I will give you an e-design of your room with either your furniture or new furniture. You'll get the opportunity to um, give me your color scheme, you know, your style, how the room is going to be used and things like that. So if you're interested in something like that, go ahead and click the link in my description box and you'll see more about it on my website. So I'm going to show you uh, the clips that I have on my curtains over here in the bay window. These are so pretty. I found these at Ross a while ago. And I believe they're made out of rhinestones, but they're in the shape of a peacock. And you can just clip them on the curtains, you know, in whatever, wherever you want. And I do move these around the house a lot because they just add a uniqueness to the room. So I absolutely love that, especially in the bay window. Over here on the floor, I just have the matching vase to what I have on the table. And the red pillows, they are pillow covers that I got from Amazon and they were really affordable. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. Over here is my bar cart where I have my Santa and I have some of my nicer glasses and a couple of reindeer. So 
So I'm going to show you around the entire room. So guys, remember, if you have any questions about anything you've seen in the video, let me know in the comments and I will get back with you. So I'm absolutely loving the way this came out. Absolutely loving it. And the Santa is from Burlington as well. The chairs are from the at-home store. I've had those for a few years. The table was DIY'd by me. <laughs> and I do have a video showing how I diy this table. So I DIY'd it to match the finish on my chairs. And I'll have that link below as well. So guys, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.